blessed morning to everyone. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan naman po natin ang ating Diyos na buhay. And also, good morning to all of those who are at home. Tuning in with us in our live stream this morning. So, um, salamat din po sa inyo na nagbukas ng inyong mga pinto uh, to God's word today. Amen. And salamat din sa praise and worship team na talagang nakaka-uplift, nakaka ang sarap-sarap pong magpuri sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan po nating muli ang Diyos. Ang Diyos na buhay. Sabi nga doon sa kinanta, uh, we can only offer yung ating broken lives and our broken hearts to God. Wala tayong may offer sa kanya na kahit anuman kundi ang ating mga sarili, ang ating mga puso na punong-puno sana ng pagmamahal. Amen? Praise God! So today, um, I want to introduce myself pala. I'm Christine C. Teodoro, your pastor. Um, pastor of ACCI Abu Dhabi. So today, I'm gonna uh, share you the word of God this morning. Amen? Praise God. Um, I have something to ask you. Um, you can raise your hands. Uh, who among you here um, inherited their traits from their father? From their father. Sino yung nagmana sa kanilang mga tatay? Oh, I see hands raised up. Amen. And yun naman pong, uh, they got their physical traits from their mother. Mother. Pero yung iba hindi ko nakita na nagtaas. <laughs> I, I, I've seen hands, most of them, uh, raised up because uh, I believe they got their traits from their mother. For me, I got my height from my, I inherited my height from my mother and my color from my father and my other traits also. I, I was, um, I am mixed. So, yung pong mga bata natin dito, no, yung ating mga kids, we have some of them like Ping Ping, like um, Badong, like uh, who else? Alpha, Therese, uh, si Riz pala, si Trisha, si na Brienne, si na, sino pa mga bata? Si Cassie. If you will see them, they look like their parents, right? Amen? Tama po ba? Pag nakita nyo si Alpha, sinong kamukha? Si Daddy. <laughs> Magagalit niya si, uh, ano eh, si Alili. But did you know that the DNA is the one responsible for that? Because DNA, it is the molecule inside our cells that contain the genetic information responsible for the development and function of an organism. This explains also why children acquire their appearance, their characteristics, or their character, uh, rather, and traits from their parents. Amen? In our Christian life, our DNA should be coming from None other than Jesus Christ. Amen? So automatically, it should manifest in our character, in our behavior, in our speech. Amen? Itanong mo sa katabi mo. Anyway, uh, our brother, uh, he is with uh, our pastor Philip no? to interpret. So itanong mo sa katabi mo, sis, brother. Sino kaya, kanino kayang DNA ang nakikita sa'yo? Kanino kayang DNA ang nakikita sa'yo? Kailangan DNA ni Jesus Christ ang makita sa isang tunay na kristyano. Amen? Praise God. Last week, Sister Jean preached about love and discernment. Wherein we learned about how the Bible tells us to judge or to righteously judge others. We are in this, we are in this series now of uh, the book of Luke, wherein it is entitled the, the Teachings of Jesus Christ from the Book of Luke. 
And now, nasa pangatlo na po tayong part. So this morning, God's message for us is all about the contents of a person's heart. And it's entitled, The Heart Speaks. The Heart Speaks. So importante po, no? Yung kinanta natin kanina. Yung ating puso, kung anong laman ng ating puso ay ang ating may offer sa ating Panginoon. So, uh, our scripture verse for today is taken from Luke chapter 6, verse 45. It says there, The good person out of the good treasure of the heart produces good. And the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. And our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 6, verses 43 to 45. Let's read all together. For no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good. And the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful and wonderful morning. Totoo nga po, Panginoon, na napakabuti mo, napaka-faithful mo sa amin. Thank you for waking us up and leading us here and thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity that we will be able to hear from you, God. May all the words that will be shared today will be only coming from you. Lord, please um, provide us your holy anointing. Hide me behind your cross, Father, as uh, we pray that you will increase and I will decrease. Lord, we also pray, Father God, for those who are going to hear this uh, holy word of yours, Father, we pray that it will be grant, uh, it we it will be planted, grow and bear fruit in their hearts, and we seal every word that is going to be preached today to our hearts. In Jesus' name, we pray. We give you all the glory, honor, power, and praise. In Jesus' name, we pray and we say, Amen and Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord. So, um. It's written in, uh, balik po tayo dun sa verse 43, no? We already read the, the scripture reading. So, during this time, Jesus was preaching the word of God. Kanino, dun sa mga crowd, to his disciples, and even to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. So, during the ministry of Jesus Christ, he often used he often used parables for himself, for himself to be, uh, to, for, for, for those, um, uh, he uses parables for him to be revealed to those who truly believe in him. Pero siyempre, alam naman natin that he's being targeted by the teachers of the law. Pag nagkamali lang siya, di ba? Uh, talagang, their eyes are on him because um, um, he was preaching more often with parables. But why he is preaching that? Because he wants to reveal himself to those who truly believe him. But again, I tell you, his time had not yet come yet. So hindi pa time uh, for him to be fully revealed to everyone. That's why he was using parables. And why he was preaching parables, why he was preaching all these things to the people before. So that for them to know his father, to know his character, and to grow more uh, like him in his likeness. Amen? So in Genesis 1, verse 27, it says there, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. 
So God is very clear in this verse that we were created in His own image and in His own likeness. Therefore, Jesus wants us to behave, to speak, and to act like He did. Gusto niya tayo din maging kawangis niya because we were created like Him. Amen? We were created in His image and in His likeness. The more we read, the more we learn uh, about Jesus, the more we seek, the more we, um, the more we love Him. Doon po sa kantang yun na ano po ako, The more I seek you, the more I love you. Diba? Yun ang sabi ng Lord doon sa kanta. Uh, yun ang sabi ng kanta. Uh, para kay Lord. Because whenever we, uh, we dig deeper, we read the Bible, we see the character of who Jesus is. Amen? And of course, it should, it should result in us becoming more like Him. Amen? Kailangan makita po yung mga binabasa natin. Kailangan eh, maisa pamuhay natin. Ang mga uh, nababasa natin um, na nagiging devotions natin every day through His words. In verse 43, For no good tree bears bad fruit. Tama, di ba? Nor again, does a bad tree bear good fruit? For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. Have you seen a mango, a mango tree, grow strawberries? Nakakita na ba po kayo ng ganon? Ako hindi pa eh. Baka kayo nakakita na. No, right? It should bear mangoes because that, was the, that is the original seed. That is what the original, yung, yun ang pinaka-seed niya. So, if you plant a mango tree, of course, it, it will bear mangoes, mango fruits. Amen? That is nature. So, Jesus is comparing our hearts, a person's heart, into a fruit. And how the things come out of our mouth or come out from us should be also the same of what is inside us. Kailangan kung ano ang nasa puso natin ay lalabas sa ating mga bibig. Kung ano ang mga nandito sa atin, whether it is hatred, it is love, it is uh, a negative feeling towards others, whether it is joy, it will really come out from us. Amen? Amen. But of course, there's a process. May mga proseso po yan. Something should be planted first. Amen? In Christian's case, the gospel should be, um, should be preached to our brothers and sisters who do not know Jesus yet. Amen? Of course, they should believe they should believe in it. Accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and allow the Holy Spirit to reign and live in their lives. Amen? So tayo ba ginagawa natin yon? I believe so. We already have done that and we are in the process right now of growing. Amen? Nag-grow ka na ba kapatid? Itanong mo sa kasabi mo, kurutin mo siya. Nagugrow ka na ba? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I believe we are all growing. But eventually, um, God will prune us. Meaning, He will change us. He will remove all the things which are not helpful in our growth. Like yung mga, yung ating mga uh, past sins before, yung mga lifestyle natin na hindi kaaya-aya sa kanyang harapan, puputulin niya isa-isa niyang tatanggalin sa atin. And even yung mga behaviors natin na kung makatili ka eh, tapos kung um, makipagkwentuhan ka eh, 
tinig ka dun sa uh, fifth floor na nasa first floor ka. <laughs> Megaphone. <laughs> a true convert of Jesus Christ with a genuine changed heart will be evident in the way he speak, in the way he deals with others, in the way he thinks. Amen po ba? Pansinin nyo yung buhay nyo before at yung mga lifestyle nyo before. Di po ba dati tayo ay, um, if, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, kasi uh, marami sa atin before, um, masungit. Marami sa atin ang masabihan lang ng uh, hindi maganda eh, magtataas ka na ng kilay. Sasagot ka na. Amen? But that was before. God already was pruning us. God was already cutting and removing all the things which are not helping in our growth as a Christian. Amen? It is evident in you now. So the question is, are you seeing that fruit of faith in your life? Are you seeing that fruit of faith in your life right now? Amen. In the second verse, it says that, For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. Of course, you've seen figs, fig fruits, right? They all grow and they are harvested from fig trees. And even grapes, they can be found in grape vines. Of course, we cannot find them in uh, thorn bushes or bramble bushes as the Bible tells, uh, which are full of thorns. They are shrubs, but full of thorns. Because figs and grapes, they do not belong there. It's like here. It's like this. Um, something which does not belong, um, something you cannot find, you cannot find, uh, of course, sorry, sorry, sorry. You cannot find something which does not exist. You cannot find something that it does not belong. So, tayo, na, na gets nyo ba? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, tayo, bilang mga Kristiyano, we belong in the church. We belong in churches. By the way, churches are not like building, are not like uh, simbahan. Uh, church is not uh, a structure. It's not a place. Church is us, the people. Amen? So, we Christians, we belong in church. Gathering with our fellow believers, growing in love with one another, and of course in Christ Jesus. Amen. We are growing in the love of Jesus. Yung mga life lesson family meetings natin, most of the time we do not want to separate with each other. Ayaw na nating umuwi minsan, kahit gabing gabi na, pinapauwi na tayo ng life group leader natin, ayaw pa nating maghiwahiwalay. Can you relate with me? Amen. So yung iba nga, di ba? Um, when we see each other nga, yung mga friends natin from the churches, I have my friends in the church, and of course, you are all my friends in the church. Pero yung lagi mo silang nakakasama, actually, ayaw nyo nang maghiwahiwalay. Tama po ba, Pastora Jinky? Praise God. That's correct daw, correct, correct. So, uh, ganun din po, no, yung mga ministry natin, when we are with them, uh, yung mga ministry members natin, when we are uh, having our fellowship with them, we enjoy it a lot. The joy is coming from our hearts. Pagkasama natin sila, o, sa Kalidia Mall daw. Attend po tayo dito. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sis. Invite ka lang. So, we enjoy this kind of fellowship. This is a fellowship with brothers and sisters who are excited. I believe you are all excited to hear the word of God, right? <laughs> Amen. So we enjoy this kind of fellowship, fellowship with our Father, with Jesus Christ. 
Amen? Instead of partying. Instead of whew, partying. Instead of partying. So we do not enjoy that part, kind of partying now. Are you agreeing with me? Amen. Amen. So actually po ako, nung umuwi kami ng family ko, 2017, 2018, um, we had a fellowship, overnight fellowship with my college friends. Um, may alak. Uh, kami pong buong mag-anak, natulog po kami. We have five rooms in a villa in uh, Clark Air Base. So, uh, ang saya po, may pool. Ang saya sa pong magkara magkaroon ng reunion with friends. Right? But you know what? They offered me a drink. Sabi, wine lang to wine lang. But they were not able to um, encourage me to drink. Sabi ko, okay lang ako. Okay na ako dito sa, ano, sa juice. Amen? I enjoy their company. Of course, they are my old friends before. Pero, yung the thought of you are drinking, and of course, ang dami namin kwentuhan, nag enjoy ka. You know what? You know that? Um, mga enjoy, nag enjoy kang magkwentuhan about your past life. Yung mga naging buhay namin nung college kami, daming mga kalokohan, daming mga, ay nako, I, 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 I believe you agree with me, with your college friends, with your high school friends, right? Ang saya-saya, but, of course, yung buhay ko ngayon ay hindi na ako noon. Amen? I was really, um, I'm not that, I'm happy to be with them. But you know what? Um, I've seen how they also to, uh, they talk to me na uh, pag nagbibiruan sila ng mga green jokes and wholesome words, oh, ayan na si Tin, ayan na si Tin. Nako, huwag kayo magkwento ng mga ganyan. Do you experience that? Amen. So, we do not enjoy those kind of fellowship because you are now a new creation. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang ating mga sarili. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon dahil binabago niya tayo from glory to glory in every day of our lives. He is changing us from good to better to best. And I believe our goal is to be the best person that we can be. Amen? Yung buhay natin noon, ito ang goal ko, Lord, para ma, 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 maging, maging mas ako na better person ngayon. Amen? It is written in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Amen. Personally, when I was not yet a Christian, I lied. Simpleng kwentuhan lang. Nakakapag sinungaling ka para ma... Karo, ikaw ay yung bida-bida ba? Bida-bida ka sa grupo. Ah, ako, nakaano na ako ng ganito. Kahit hindi. Diba? Mayroon akong ganito, kahit wala. Oy, nakaka-relate si Donan. I also enjoyed gossiping before. Marites, hindi pa pala uso yung marites before, pero may gossip na. Gossip is really, ay nako, nag enjoy ka before. Alam mo, si ano may bagong boyfriend? Si Mr. X may bagong boyfriend? Si ano may, alam, may bagong asawa? Si ano na-promote dahil kay... Mm. Blind item. Curses easily slip from my mouth. Yung mga P.I., yung mga F, uh, ganon. Kahit nagkukwentuhan lang, parang it's such a cool thing. Oh, yes! Oo nga, no? Ganon. Of course, yung mga ganon. Alam nyo ang gusto kong sabihin. You know what I mean. You know, all these curses, negative words, mga bad words na ini-enjoy natin before. 
I was so tactless before. I don't care who will be hurt. I don't care whom will I, be, will I offend. As long as I express myself, I'm okay with that. Kaliwali. Kaliwali. I easily retaliated with harsh and unkind words to those people who tried to attack me in any way I can. Especially in throwing back to them. Bad mouthing. Bad mouthing. But that was me before. That was me before. And I am not proud of that. But when I started to have a deeper relationship and personal relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ and more of God and seek more of God through his words, I changed. I know in my heart. Palakpakan natin si Lord. I was changed. I knew in myself. I knew that God did something to me. And it feels good. And it feels good to be changed for the better. Narandaman niyo po ba yun? Amen. Um, I've told you I was changed, no? Yung pagsasalita ko, the way I think, the way I deal with others, ibang-iba na. Ibang-iba na sa uh, mga anak ko, sa, mga, sa family members ko, sa nanay ko, sa mga magulang ko, and even to the people around me, nag-iba na. And I'm so happy for that because God is really faithful to all of us. Amen? So now that we become new creations, we should bear new fruit. In Galatians 5:22 to 23, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such these things, there is no law. I believe we are in the process of change. And I believe in my heart, this fruit, eventually, kung hindi man ngayon, we are going to possess them. But it is equally evident if a person still belongs to the world, a person who really, who easily lies, who easily gossips, who enjoy gossips, um, speaks unwholesome words, throw curses and harsh words to others. Amen? But the Bible warns us with this. In Matthew 12, 36, sabi niya, uh, I tell you on the day of judgment, be people will give account for every careless word they speak. So, Lahat ng mga lumalabas sa ating mga bibig, magkakaroon po tayo ng pagsusulit on the day of judgment. So we have to be careful. Hindi. We have to be careful in everything that is coming from our mouth. Whether it is good or bad, we have to be careful na good lamang ang lalabas sa ating mga bibig. Because our mouths are uh, designed by God to give praises and glory to Him. Amen? Kaya lang, of course, yung kaaway, minsan ay ginagamit niya ang ating bibig. To throw curses, to throw negativities to other people. Amen? I, I hope and I pray na in this time, hindi na po tayo ganon. Amen? So, in short, if we have that transformed life in Christ Jesus, the fruit of the Holy Spirit will be evident in us. In the way we speak, the way we behave, the way we act. Amen? In this verse, it is very true that if we are true ambassadors of Jesus Christ, only good, kind, 
pleasant words and actions will automatically come out. Amen? Unlike if we, are, if we still belong in the world, anger, hatred, negativities will show. Amen po ba? Amen. Do you agree with me? Yes. Amen. In Matthew 23, 27, uh, it says there, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful sa panlabas ang ganda-ganda mo, but within you are full of dead people's bones and all uncleanness. In this verse, Jesus pertains, uh, Jesus pertaining to false uh, teachers of the law, a bad preacher who is contradicting his own preaching. He's full of wickedness and hypocrisy in his heart. There is no genuine knowledge of God. There is no conversion of his heart. So ito po yung mga sinasabi ni Jesus Christ na um, there was a story in the Bible where Jesus healed a man uh, with, a, uh, with a shriveled hand. So, and that was a Sabbath day. So we all know that during Sabbath before, we should not do anything. We should not work. We should not, uh, even our animals, we should not uh, let them go out of the field. So we should not do anything. But Jesus, with his radical love, his love is uncontainable. His compassion heart, compassionate heart abounds in him. He healed that sick man. So, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law found an opportunity to accuse him of violating the Sabbath. So, anong sabi ni Jesus? Sinagot ni Jesus, of course. In Mark 3, verse 4, Then Jesus asked them, Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil? To save life or to kill? But they remained silent. And after that, nawala po sila, and they started to plot. They started a plot to kill him. Amen? So, yun po yung ating mga... Um, bad preachers. So let's be very careful to examine ourselves daily. Are we growing in love for Jesus and for others in an increasing measure? Or are we just faking it like the Pharisees? Pag uwi mo dito, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Pag uwi mo sa bahay, Bi, ma, mm, ka, magugas ka ng plato. Ikaw, anong ginawa mo? Agad kalit. Nagmumura. In verse, verse 45, the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good. And the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. When godly Christians speak, Every word that comes out from their that comes out of their mouth is like a choice piece of fruit. Each word is carefully chosen. Each spoken word is filled with love, grace, and truth. Tama Amen. One of the several examples I can give is Mommy She. Mommy She, if you don't know her, she is the wife of Pastor Willie. When she speaks, it is full of encouragement and wisdom. Who was able to uh, have a talk with Mommy? Mommy She, praise the Lord. And whose topic is always on how to help the needy, how to uplift others, her concern for the youth, her love for the country, for the, fam for the fathers of the family to come to Jesus Christ and know him more. Her love for the, her, her love for, even for the unlovable 
and so on and so forth. Amen? So, there were, those were just few of her topics. But after speaking with her, you will not go empty-handed. May baon-baon ka lagi. Amen? Um, you will see her heart full. It is full of wisdom, full of love and kindness from Jesus Christ. So I praise and thank God for the life of Mom Shi. And of course, the perfect example of this verse is none other than Jesus Christ. When he speaks, he only tells and preaches about the kingdom of God, kingdom of the Father, the heart and the mind of God. All he wants is for all of us to know the truth. For three years of his ministry, he devoted himself, his time, in teaching the commands and the kingdom of God. Those three years were very fruitful and meaningful because he was able to accomplish of what the Father is, was asking him to do. Amen? Kaya, tayo kaya, bigyan tayo ng three years. Ching! But then, after that, he was rejected. Tama, he was betrayed. He was humiliated. Even to the point of death, when he was uh, crucified on the cross, he did not open his mouth to curse, to complain, to reason out, to retaliate to these people, or to blame. Instead, what he said in, in Luke chapter 23, verse 34, he said, their father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Imagine that. He was scorched to death. He was, he was flogged to death. Nilatigo siya. How many lashes he received. How many bugbog he received. But he did not open his mouth to curse, to say bad words against those who crucified him. But a man full of anger, hatred, and negativities, wickedness in his heart, will definitely be shown in his words, in his actions, especially when unguarded. Nasingitan lang sa daan. Nagmumura na to the point of nagtutukan pa ng baril. There was a person who died in the Philippines because of gunshot. Why? Because of traffic issue. Nasigitan ka lang sa pila, nagtaas ka na ng kiday. Nakipag-away pa. Recently, we see some people posting and retaliating with sarcastic, harsh, and unkind words on social media especially during election season. I personally, I really get hurt when I see brethren engaged in this. Nakakalungkot po. Nakakalungkot makita yung ating mga kapatid sa pananampalataya who involve themselves in this kind of uh, postings. When people see when people see us do this, do you think you'll be able to invite them in life lessons? Do you think you can invite them in the church? Ikaw nga yan, ganito eh. Ganyan mga... Of course, if I will be invited by someone, titignan ko muna, di ba? I will see her profile, I will see what is in her, They believe, no? Do you believe this? Our words can break, can make or break a relationship. Right? Our words, if we are not careful, can break a relationship. 
Amen? So we have to be very careful. My prayer is for all of us to heal as one. Kung may mga, especially dito sa atin, if somebody was hurt, and if somebody, uh, we were, let's, let's admit this, we were divided during, those, during that season, right? But our prayers, not only me, we as pastors, our prayers is for all of us to heal as one. If we have our own candidates, we have to keep in mind that our citizenship is not in the Philippines or wherever country your passport is from. But in reality, our citizenship is in heaven. Amen? Ang citizenship mo ba ay dito lang? This is just a temporary, my friend. Temporary lang ito. We have to look for the eternal life. Our citizenship is in heaven and that is permanent. In Proverbs 15, verse 1, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. There are times in our relationships, there will be misunderstanding, which we cannot avoid, right? But it doesn't matter who's right or wrong. It doesn't matter who, who started the fight. What is important is you ask for an apology, you ask for forgiveness from that person you had a misunder misunderstanding with. So, we can also say, pasensya ka na. Alam ko mahirap. Mahirap ang humingi ng patawad. Especially if you were not the one. Right? who committed the mistake first. Minsan, you are both, uh, you are both, ano eh, may kasalanan. But, it is not important who is right or wrong. So, if you ask forgiveness from that person, of course, you will feel lighter. You will be at peace. Amen? Ang sarap-sarap po kaya ng pakiramdam pag, um, you are all together living in peace. Amen? Humility will not make you less of a person. Hindi kabawasan ang humingi ng tawad. Hindi mababawasan ang kagwapuhan mo, ang kagandahan mo. If you ask forgiveness, if you will be, uh, if you will humble, your, humble yourself. Amen? Amen? Instead, after you ask forgiveness, you will feel relieved. Mararamdaman mo na nabunot yung tindik sa dibdib mo. Tama po ba? Praise God. Because we are relieved, we are at peace, you will feel good. And of course, sa sarili mo, mismo talaga na you will feel Ah, it's a good feeling because you put a smile on God's face. Amen? In James 4, 6, but he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Three points I want all of us to learn from this parable. First, we have to stop. Stop. Stop the things that make the Holy Spirit grieve. We have to stop all the things, all the words, all the actions that hurt people around us, our family members, our colleagues, our friends. And of course, our God. We have to stop all these things which uh, hurt them. Number two, we have to search. Heart check. Heart check. We have to search our hearts every now and then. We have to examine our hearts. Ask yourself, 
Ask yourself right now, what do I hear from myself? What do I hear from myself? What do people hear from me? Do I always say negative things? Disappointments? Discouragements? Worst are death words. Wala ka ng pag-asa, ang bobo-bobo mo. Hindi na babango ng Pilipinas. So sad, right? Wala ka ng pag-asa ang magbago. Hanggang dyan ka na lang. Makakalungkot. We think that these words are so simple expressions. Like OMG, Diyos ko, Jesus Mariosip. But how are these words showing our reverence for God and our changed hearts? Amen? So we should not say all these things. Think about it. Are we giving reverence to our God? Kasi ang lutong-lutong and pag hindi mo na talaga siya uh, talaga alam mo yung katuruan when you know what is the truth pag may narinig kang mga ganong salita uff parang maano sa tenga masakit sa tenga Lord yung mga kasama ko may mga kasama ako na they're already uh, they are from mga pinsan natin ang lutong-lutong ng OMG I'm cringing whenever I hear them utter these kinds of words It's not giving res- reverence to our God. So we should stop all this. We should search our hearts, I mean. Let's examine our hearts, ourselves. If we think that we ho- have offended our loved ones or others, ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness from the Lord and from the people whom you offended. And start afresh. Let the healing process begin. Let the healing process begin. Kay Lord, may ulitan. Kay Lord, may second time around. Kay Lord, pwedeng isa pa Lord. Amen? Number three, share or encourage. Uplifting life words and encouragement are expected from us. Do people hear these words from us? If not, start now. Send encouraging messages, verses, quotes to people whom you know they, did, they need them more. Right? We can reach out, touch lives through our words. Social media is just a click away. Tama po ba? Ang hilig natin sa social media. Sino ang hindi? Mm. Post uplifting quotes and verses on your social account. You never know that someone out there may be in dire need of this word. Amen? Diba sabi niya, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. But nowadays, anong nangyayari? Out of the abundance of your heart, your Facebook speaks. Right? Because nowadays, people post or pour their emotions, express themselves what they feel in Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We can encourage one another through our words, through the word of God. In 1 Thessalonians 5.11, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. We in this church, we encourage one another. Amen? Praise the Lord. It easily comes out from our lips, the encouragement, The life words, because we know who is the source of all these words. Amen. In closing, wow, closing na tayo. Even if it's a small progress, you should see progress in your life 
and change in your heart since becoming a follower of Jesus Christ. Amen? In the life of a Christian, the character and traits of Jesus Christ will be evident. Madali po tayong magiging ebidensya po ito in our thoughts, actions, and words. People will easily identify Jesus in us, in our speech, and in our actions. Our challenge for today, the challenge that I will leave you, it's up to you, and you are the only person, you are, it's you yourself can only answer this. Am I hurting God with my words? Can people see the fruit of the Spirit in me? Are you, go, are you growing the right fruit? And our memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm, chapter 19, verse 14. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. Lord, my rock, my redeemer. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. To God be all the glory. Wow. Such an amazing message and challenging also. Uh, Na-bless po ba kaya doon sa message na shinare ni Pastor Atin? Can we give the Lord clap offering, mga kapatid, for that amazing message? Alam niyo po, it's always been a challenge as a Christian to live according to what Christ wanted us to live. Uh, one of my favorite verse was shared in the preaching, 2 Corinthians 5.17. If you are in Christ, if you already are in Christ, it should be manifested in your life. It should be obvious. The old you should be gone and the new you should be radiant to everyone. We praise and thank God for that uh, preaching. Pastor in the sermon in, again in, uh, encourages us to check our heart. Sabi nga nung uh, isang uh, preacher na napapanood ko lagi, in our Christian walk, the problem of the heart, uh, the heart of the problem is the problem of the heart. We should always guard our heart against deception, temptation, and sin. Uh, can we, bago po tayo mag-share uh, ng bread and wine, can we pray for uh, our messenger, our preacher? Thank, thank you, Lord. We glorify you and we thank you for the message that has shared, that we've shared through the life of our uh, uh, preacher this morning. Panginoon, salamat po for using the life of Pastor Atin Teodoro. May you continue to bless her. Use her mightily, Lord God. And may you continue to allow her to be a conduit of your message, your word to people around her. Bless her. Bless her household, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May we invite everyone po for our uh, bread and wine. What we're going to do again is a symbolic representation of what the Lord Jesus Christ wants us to do every time that we will be gathering together. I know po na lahat po tayo, uh, you may be coming to church, you may be regularly joining your life lesson, mga kapatid. Maybe you're giving your tithe already, that's a good thing. Maybe you're uh, already involved in the ministry, that is a good thing. But you have to check your heart. Um, have I fully received Jesus Christ in my life? Surrendered everything to Him? O baka naman si Jesus Christ, part lang siya ng weekend nyo? Or part lang siya ng activity pagkatapos ng, uh, ng, ng church service? The Lord Jesus Christ should be in every facet of our life, mga kapatid. Personal, emotional, psychological, spiritual, financial even. Lahat po yun, dapat. Kaya, He reminded us that every time that you will be gathering together, I want you to remember me. So I pass on to you what I received from the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ, the night before He was betrayed, He took the bread. After He gave thanks, He broke the bread, gave it to His disciples and said, Take this bread, this is my body which will be given up for you. Let us partake of the bread. Okay. 
in the same manner when the supper is ended the Lord Jesus Christ took the cup again he gave thanks to the Father gave the cup to his disciples and said take this cup this is my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant a new and everlasting promise this blood will be shed for you and for everyone and it will be cleansed it will be a cleansing blood for the forgiveness of our sin and every time that you eat the bread and you drink from this cup you proclaim the death and the victorious return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us partake of the cup. Thank you, Father God, for you have given your life through your Son, Jesus Christ, a life that is worth to emulate, Panginoon. The healing that we receive spiritually, emotionally, physically, in every part of our being, Lord God, ay nagmula sa pagbibigay mo sa amin ng dugo at ng laman na isinakripisyo mo sa krus. Panginoon, may we always cherish, honor, and glorify the act that you did for us. May our lives bring glory and praise to your name. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good and faithful Father, we thank you, we glorify you, we honor you, we lift our hands and our heart to you, Father God. And we believe that this day is a day where we worship and we experience the fullness of your blessing, your word, and your spirit. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa buhay ng mga kapatid ko na naririto ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat po for bringing them into this gathering. I believe, Father God, that your plan and your purpose again manifested, Panginoon, because you are victorious sa kanilang buhay ngayong araw na to. Panginoon, we lift up in prayer yung po mga kapatid na namin na hindi po namin nakasama ngayon. May you allow them also to experience the same blessing na naranasan namin ngayong umagang ito. Encourage them, whatever they are going through right now, Lord God, we speak blessing in their lives. Lord, do not allow the enemy to come steal and destroy what you have planted in their hearts, Lord God. May their heart, Lord God, be covered with the blessing of your Holy Spirit. My dear brethren, can you raise your hands right now, Paul? We want to release blessing. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You can see above and beyond the hands that are raised up right now, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to bless these hands, Lord God. Bless their hearts. Bless their family. Bless their ministry. Bless them, Father God. And may you continue to reveal your plan and your purpose in their lives and through their lives. Father God, also I pray for the family that they represent in the Philippines. Sa kanila pong mga mahal sa buhay. Sa kanila pong mga gawa the fears, the anxieties, or whatever, Lord God, that is going through in their lives right now. Hindi ko po yun alam, Lord. Pero sa iyo po, wala pong natatago. We surrender them everything to you. Kaya po nakataas ang aming mga kamay. It's a sign of worship and surrender because we believe that with us is a living, loving, and holy God. God bless everyone. Every children of God will say, Amen and Amen. Every praise belongs to our God. Amen.
Oh, 